everyone welcome back to figure fantasy today we'll be talking about the beginner's guide so the game is basically new um around um, a week or even less so i'm gonna put out all the things that you need to do as a beginner because a couple of days ago when i started <clears throat> i didn't know where to focus on i didn't know what to do you know uh in sequence but now I'm going to tell you guys more or less what is the ideal sequence that you should, you know, focus on first. Um, to start with, you will be looking at your um, adventure. So this is the one thing that you're going to be unlocking. Because as you progress further in the adventure, which is this one, um, you're going to be opening a lot of content. So the last content that I haven't opened yet is 9-1. So I'm at 8-6. So again, you won't progress far if you won't unlock content. Okay, so that's one. Then let's take a look at your figures that you have. So I'm sure to start, you'll be starting with around one or two yellow, yellow ranked um, figures. <coughs> I know it's actually difficult to find them or to, you know, to start, uh, what do you call this? To start uh, getting gems uh, from the start. But you will have to use your your um, your figures that have been given to you by the game. They are actually decent until you could find um, high DPS figures that you need. So you need um, high DPS such as um, this girl, which is Zorola. And also, Bazor Wen. She is actually good as well. Um, high DPS is needed to clear the stages, especially in the higher levels. And also, you will need a dependable healer. So, I started out using... I, I, I bet everybody will be starting out with Ume, Mizuno. But eventually, I was lucky enough to pull her in one of the blinds, which is Zephyr. So, again, roster construction is important because you will be dependent on them in clearing stages and also <clears throat> being able to be semi um, competitive in pvp as well so how to do a good job in terms of what to do with your figures is first and foremost promote them you will need copies of heroes for you to promote so as you can see here copies um the highest level that I've seen is actually red or pink. I don't know why, but uh, it's pink. Uh, but this is uh, the highest level. Then from there, you'll be gaining stars for your pink. An example is this girl, Rico. So she is, she is two star already at pink. So that is actually the hierarchy going up. So again, going back to promote, you'll have to promote um, a lot of heroes in this game especially your core ones the other ones that you're going to be promoting are going to be just fodder or they're, they're just going to be pawns to be to be sacrificed for the promotion of other other units like um let's see uh let's see yeah let's do this okay so as you promote other heroes some of them you might be able to use in your main heroes like for example what i did to promote uh, as you can see here you can use her to promote the others let's uh let's exit from this first exit as you can see uh i'm in red then you can use her she's one of the lower characters but when she reaches um red or pink uh, you can actually use her as level up material or promotion material. But again, this does not apply to... I'm not sure why this this does not apply to all of the lower um, tiered heroes. So again, promotion is one of the biggest ones. The next would be to upgrade the level of your heroes. So upgrading um, requires you to be using this currency which is your lucky coins this is actually easy to farm in the game there are a lot of sources for this and we don't use this that, that, that much the one that you're going to be farming is this one the clover stickers and also this one the stamp 
So again, <clears throat> Clover stickers, you can actually get these babies in the final battle and also your idol rewards. Okay? Please be worried that uh, you'll have to um, uh, unlock your final battle. Then for your... Uh, sorry, this is your Clover sticker. Forgot. But for your stamps, you're going to be getting the stamps in Nightmare, Final Battle, and Idol Rewards as well. So that is where you're going to get the get them. You can actually look at this for your guides on where you can obtain them and go to them directly. So that is... Uh, they're, they're very farmable. It just takes time to upgrade and to farm these, um, these uh, materials. And also what is important here is these are the skills. And... You have to unlock them. Unlocking takes time because you need to go to the sacred tour and open the sacred tour. So as you can see, it's locked. So we'll go to the sacred tour. Um, for you to be able to unlock your skills, all of the, the materials are in the sacred. Sorry, not in the sacred store. The sacred tour. Okay, so you have to, <clears throat> for the Sacred Tour, you have to 3-star each stage for you to sweep it. Because if not, you're going to have to play it again. So try to open this as far as you can. These stages are basically just play hero placements. Nowhere to place your heroes. As you can see, just this is just a, a sample. I'm just going to open it. You'll be given a certain number of heroes. Um, depending on what stage, then you just have to place them. Then achieve all of this. So three allied figures survive, finish battle in 15 seconds. So that is it. That is the only requirement. Once you three star this, then you can sweep the stage. But again, sometimes it's difficult to find the right placement for these heroes to be effective in the right combination. So again, um, I'll be putting out a different guide to for your sacred tour. So it's going to be it's going to be more of how I did it, how I how uh, where I placed them, starting with sacred tour probably two. Um, look forward to that within the week. So this one you really have to open because if you don't, um, you won't be able to unlock the skills of your figures. Okay, next that we're going to talk about is going to be your gear. It's called parts here so the so design letter is for your skills um skills are very important because again some some of some of the heroes are can be used uh when a certain skill you know pops out or is being leveled up so again you need to make sure that you level up your skills um as frequent as possible okay or as many as possible across um figures again going back to your parts so your parts you have to upgrade them look for set bonuses um like this one no there is no set property for this one but there are certain certain items that that's, that has set properties you just have to look for them i saw one here yeah here defense set one of two um also these gears can be farmed in your story or in your adventure so there that is where you can actually find them and this one next is going to be your badges your badges is additional um passive skills that you can receive um or your heroes can receive so as you can see here again another passive restores health by 0.5 per second so that is actually a you know kind of a bonus again um then and there are attack bonuses and hp bonuses as well these badges are actually it's gonna go to the badge these badges are very very powerful eventually so we're gonna go to the gallery your badges are here so this is where you can see the directory for your badges so i've unlocked some here at the bottom but the top are actually unlocked not owned because most of the badges can be found in your final battle okay so badges final battle also club friendship coin which is generated through your club you can actually use them in the shop and um, 
this is also a you know this is also a good really good bonus for your figures because once you get to the yellow <coughs> rarity um the passives and the bonuses in terms of uh skill bonuses or percentage bonuses are really really big as you can see here 68 percent hp bonus is 68 percent and attack bonus so again it is really <coughs> really a lot okay guys so again um let us go to your otaku your otaku is going to be your main display but also functions as um your your a level up uh, uh portion wherein after your five going back to my figures this is crazy oops sorry so i have as you can see here um the level uh the, the yellow ones that are in 70 or 71 are your core group so once you um once you unlock um, a certain level of your otaku your others uh, the other figures that you'll be placing there on top is going to get the level power of the lowest of the five which is 70 right now so as you can see the green ones are in the otaku and they are basically at 70 so that is how your otaku functions just in case um you guys don't know about that yet and also farm toolboxes to unlock your otaku they are actually found in your nightmare and sacred tour so you have to level this up to expand to put shelves to put more units to put more figures and that's it your otaku is actually just a display moving forward but again crucial units should be placed here so that they get to be leveled up by the way um your skills don't level up together with your together with your um figures that you put here skills still have to be leveled up separately a couple of last tips guys so those are the key things that you should do to be able to level up progress faster in the game don't hesitate to spend your diamonds here you'll be generating a lot of diamonds in the game don't spend or hesitate um to spend your diamonds for recruits because you'll need You'll need really a lot of uh, a lot of copies, either a lot of copies or um, a lot more figures to use because you have certain stages that you'll need AOE, you'll need direct um, uh, single target um, damage. So again, you'll need to farm for them. At this point, I don't think we have to worry and save up for diamonds because we could really farm them. I'm actually going to put up a separate video on how, how or where to farm your diamonds. But again, as of now, spend them, uh, pull, and um, so want to make sure you know where to pull. So the full blind box, usually some, sometimes we get tokens for this one. So if we have the super blind box, I usually spend them. And after that, if I don't have, if I have diamonds, I spend on this one. So this is where I get my figures and uh, farm gems. Again, as much as possible, as many as possible on the stages you encounter and also do side events guys these also generate you a lot of resources like this one and this one so do them on a daily basis and also check out the store the store has very good deals like these so you're gonna you're gonna need them to buy them um the fully store up to here is good the rest, uh, Otaku Store. The board game store is also good where you could find additional um, characters or you could find shards for additional units that you need or figures. Club Store, th again, this is where you can generate um, currency from your club with friends. Honor Store is here as well. So check out the store. Also, um, there is really an incentive to to make sure that you have a lot of heroes because um don't limit your heroes to five you need to grow your team um especially here in azazel because for azazel you'll be needing all nine so again so again <clears throat> this stage needs to be needs to have a lot of heroes 
to again you better start um, recruiting don't hesitate to recruit again because this is going to be you know eventually you'll have your core but don't be afraid to uh, spend your diamonds because again you'll be needing them definitely because for this stage as a zell you'll be getting this the badges getting also this the friendship coin currency and these are very vital in your in your progress moving forward so i hope i've helped you guys in this beginner's guide um if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below okay guys so that's it so again um please do check your your idle rewards from time to time because again it's also crucial in your level up of your figures and um been really enjoying this game and hope you enjoy it too so for those who haven't subscribed yet please do consider subscribing because this really helps my channel a lot and don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here